Hey, it's John McBride with Rocky Mountain Run Systems. Hey, we're going to be discussing a little bit about the M200 series today. So we were able to get one of these uh, systems in our hands. Um, we have the ability to kind of reconfigure this one into multiple modes or multiple types. So we've got the 200, the 210, and the 210 RTK. We're going to have a lot of questions right at the get-go on exactly how this system is going to work. But let's just kind of take a, take a step back a little bit and kind of look at how the market has asked for a certain type of ship in which we can, that DJI has listened to, to put out there. So some of the things about in comparison, we have an M600, we have the Inspire, we have these great utility machines that RMUS has taken and put into the market to specifically do certain jobs. DJI has now then engineered these in the 200 series to be waterproof. That, that is a great feature that uh, none of the other systems can do, at least water resistant. We have the ability to run twin batteries, just like the Inspire 2, but the one drawback of using the Inspire 2 is not being able to use the XT camera. So that's, that's a huge benefit. We have the 210 RTK, the RTK system, which we have an RTK on the M600 back here. Uh, the RTK itself to be better use of the, of the precision in flying when we're near anything with a compass anomalies or, or issues with that, like that. Uh, utilizing the RTK will have some higher precise precision flying. So the RTK on the M600 was designed to be more about precision flying than it is about precision picture taking. But with some of the awesome cameras that we can use with both the M210, the RTK, and the 200, we have different options, X5X, X4S, XT, the Z30. We have some different, different options of uh, sensor sizes that we can use. So specifically on the M200, uh, that will probably be released first here. We'll be seeing those come into the market. Again, waterproof, twin battery system, single camera, and we'll be using the OcuSync as well as the Crystal Sky Monitor that, that with DJI developing that, we'll be able to kind of better suit the platform to work with an open source or Android platform with this. We're pretty excited about that. Moving on to the M210, we have a lot of cool features that they've come up with, uh, still in development, still working on this, but uh, main thing is to be able to run two imagers on the same ship. So this is really exciting because I build this already with RMUS. We've created some twin system imagers and twin systems. So, uh, but having it all integrated into one package, into one application, into one system is hugely beneficial for our search and rescue and our uh, inspection guys, uh, public service. So we're, we are really excited about this. Additionally, on the inspection side, we're able to actually do a top-mounted camera. So by taking the top mount and putting this on the ship, we're able to flip this camera upside down, take inspections of under, underside bridges, uh, behind or uh, under uh, soffits on buildings. Uh, there's some specialties places in which we cannot turn the camera up high enough to do uh, an inspection, but being able to rotate the camera on top of the bird will be a pretty fantastic feature as well. When you do that, when we actually mount that on the top on the 210, they've actually provided a separate GPS unit that would uh, be used during that configuration. So all of these things that are coming up in the future is moving forward in, in uh, the development of the 200 series we're pretty excited about. As usual, we'll be expecting some kind of a uh, full solutions for specific industry from RMUS. Uh, my initial you know, excitement about this, uh, this system is going to be, it, it's going to be a really fun one. So I uh, hope to see them out there and we'll get some more flight videos and other things ready. Uh, look forward to the next video that we're going to be putting together on this series of awesomeness.